does European have his historical projections? You know what I'm saying? Basically, in reality, like, you know, historically, they're in caves. So they built their, their, their environment. environment such as, so we're not seeing a glass house, we're seeing a projection of glaciers, uh. icicles. Mm. You see what I'm saying? You know, and they give it to you subconsciously. You know what I mean? But you think about Literally. Superman, right? You remember Superman? And, and Superman had the glass, the glass city and shit? That's what you're looking at. Just a projection of just that. What is that? What is that? Huh? What is that? That's actually local. I remember seeing it, though. So you saying this European gets us caught up in his reality? His reality. Like, Africans by nature built their stuff in circles. Right. You know what did what that represent? I mean, the, the, the totality of life, 360 degrees. I sure. You see what I'm saying? It means life. You know, when you in a circle, there's no angles. You ever heard of a nigga say, what's your angle, nigga? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or a nigga say, you know, I'm on my square. Square have angles and shit. So, you know, uh, Europeans build their society such as. You know what I mean? But this is a fucking square. So I have a question for you. What effect do you think that has on the African today in this white man's, you know, domain or his place? We talking about real architects. You know what I'm saying? When we talk about building anything, we talking about what we see, how we project things as. Do we see ourselves as Africans? Mm. When we look at stuff, when we build things, or do we see ourselves as Europeans? Mm. You know what I'm saying? And if we are European centric in our thinking, then it's gonna come out Eurocentric all the time. All right. So we just mimicking. That basically, basically. Right. In Buffalo, we got the head. You know, the Martin Luther King head. Right. You know what I mean? That's a, that's a, a work of work. And it was not even really, really to uh, represent Martin Luther King, but the symbol of a black man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so we got an all Mac head in our city. Right. You know uh, what I'm saying? Basically. Nobody even know. We got an all Mac head mm -hmm. in our city sitting right there at uh, Martin Luther King Park. Right. Nobody even paying attention. So that comes with recognizing self. You don't recognize self, you run through all this, all your stuff. Stolen from you, giving back to, to you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? All of it. They say that's, you know, in, in so many words, what college is. They stole the knowledge and they try to sell it back to you. Well, that's what, well, professors have to write books. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if a professor is dealing with a particular topic or a subject, it's not hard to give the subject or the topic to 58 students and come back with, you know, information. Right. All he's done is just chopping it up and he got his own book. Right. You know what I'm saying? So he work off the students. Right. And you that costs saying? us, what, $20,000 exactly. a year? Exactly. To make him all make the, millions and millions of sales right. off his book. That's make crazy. Top, top college. Yeah. Peace out. Well, man, you heard it. We out here live in Pittsburgh, seeing how we caught up in this white man's reality. Yo, Forbes Avenue, you know, Market Square. Yeah, from, from the from our basic architecture, let us know that we don't have an African mind. So you know, something that we gotta reclaim. Peace and black power.